Hey, I'm Mike Acosta with BPM Supreme, and welcome to another edition of Software Spotlight. Being a DJ and producer myself, really excited about this one. So let's jump right in and take a look. In this episode of Software Spotlight, we're taking a look at Mixed In Key 8 and its brand new counterpart, Mixed In Key Studio. Now, Mixed In Key was originally released in March of 2006, and it was like heaven sent for me. It literally helped my music production as well as my DJ mixes for on-air radio broadcast. Mixed In Key is an app to help identify the key of songs or any audio material for proper harmonic mixing. Now, what is harmonic mixing, you may ask? It's basically a way of mixing songs that are relative to each other in key so that your DJ mixes sound much more cohesive and seamless. Here's what mixing two songs out of key would sound like if you didn't mix them at a section where only drums were playing. So clearly you can hear the vocals don't sound like they belong to the song and the low end starts to get really muddy and that's because the songs are not in key with each other and this can really suck the energy out of a track as the drums and bass are all out of tune with each other. Now here's the same Fisher Oz track mixed with another track that is in the same key. Now notice how I was able to overlay the vocals of the next song on top of the existing track, and yet it sounded like it was all one song or maybe a remix or mashup. That's because both songs were in a relative key to one another, and this is what Mixed in Key specializes in doing, and that's analyzing your music to give you the correct key information. The interface of Mixed in Key is very simple and well laid out. You can drag and drop songs right into the app for it to immediately begin analyzing the file, and displaying its key information. Alternatively, you can click on the Add Tracks button to manually add files or even folders. Mixed in Key also allows you to import iTunes playlists, which is perfect for those DJs who use iTunes as a way to manage their music collections and create DJ sets that can then be imported into Serato DJ Pro. Once a file is analyzed, you can now view its key information, which can be displayed in either Camelot, which is what you see in Serato DJ Pro now, Sharps, or Flats. Sharps is probably the most common view for someone who DJs and produces music. You can change this setting under the Mixed in Key Settings tab, and then go to Key Notation. You'll also see that you have additional settings for file renaming, exporting of cue points, updating of tags, and a few other options. Mixed in Key also displays the tempo, cover art, if any, and analyzes the energy of a song, which is useful for figuring out which tracks are best played in opening sets or primetime sets. Mixed in Key also has another great feature which can automatically add cue points to your tracks. Now these cue points are compatible with Serato DJ Pro and Tractor. By double clicking on the audio file, you now have a large waveform display within the mixed in key audio player. This allows you to view where the cue points have been placed as well as delete cue points and manually add your own. By using the numeric keys on your computer keyboard, you can manually trigger these cue points. Mixed in Key also allows you to edit metadata tags by simply clicking on the Tags tab at the top of the app and to the right of the Collections tab. This will help you keep your tag information clean and uncluttered, so when it's displayed on CDJs or within Serato DJ Pro, it's very easy to view. Now you may notice a pop-up at the bottom of the app, warning you about the audio quality and if a file may have clipped sections of audio. 
This is where Mixed and Key suggests using their other application, Platinum Notes, to address the issue. If it's a commercially released song, chances are you don't have to really worry about this, but it could be useful on maybe some much older songs that have lower volumes or really hard peaks as a result from archiving them from vinyl. At the top of Mixed and Key, you'll notice you have a tutorial section for additional assistance in using the application, as well as a software tab for their other products and a news tab, which alerts you to any new updates and products from Mixed and Key. Now, for the longest time, I always wished that Mixed and Key was available in a plug-in version with the ability to analyze music in real time. Well, those days are over, thank God, because now there's Mixed and Key Studio, which essentially is the core of the Mixed and Key standalone application, but in a VST or audio unit plug-in format. By placing this on your master bus, or any track for that matter, you can analyze the root note of a track all in real time. The plugin lets you choose between Camelot, Sharps, and Flats, just as the standalone version does. You also have two display modes for either notes or keys. Towards the bottom, you have the option to clear the displayed results and pause the analyzer. Let's say you have some vocals that need tuning, either as an effect or to really help tighten up the performance and pitch of the singer. When you use a plugin such as Autotune or Melodyne for pitch correction, the only way for it to work properly is you have to enter the root note so that the plugin knows what the pitch is supposed to be and where to apply its tuning if the vocal falls out of that key. So here's a vocal from my friend Raylene G. Her pitch is pretty dead on. And I know the key of the song already, but if I was in a scenario where I didn't, there's no indication on the file itself of what key it's in, and therefore I wouldn't be able to use Autotune until I figured that out. With Mixed in Key Studio on our master bus, I'll play the vocal track and let the plugin analyze it. Where was I when you were walking away? You didn't say goodbye. There we go. Mixed in Key Studio has now analyzed it. It shows her vocals as D sharp minor. And we can now enter this root note information into Autotune to add a more robotic pop effect, or what's commonly referred to as the classic T Pain effect. Where was I when you were walking away? You didn't say goodbye. Now, for DJs that use Ableton Live to set up DJ mixes or create mashups, this plugin will be super, super useful. For mashups, you normally take a vocal from one song, maybe the beat from another, and then add in the hook from a third. If all these elements are not in key with each other, your mashup will sound like a complete train wreck and could potentially kill your dance floor. With Mixed in Key Studio, we can now check each sound element to make sure they are all in key with each other and that the mashup sounds seamless and maintains the proper amount of energy. In this example of a mashup, I'm going to use the same track from Fisher again, which I know is G-sharp minor, or in Camelot view is 1A. Let's double check our vocal and see what key it's in. Perfect. Our vocal is in G-sharp minor, which is 1A in the Camelot wheel, so we now know that the vocal will be in key with the Fisher Oz track. Now I've added in a synth loop to switch it up a bit, then go back into the Fisher Oz track. I'm going to check the key of the loop again just to make sure. Yep, it's in the same key of G sharp minor. So now let's play them all together and check out our mashup. As 
As you can see, Mixed in Key and Mixed in Key Studio are an essential set of tools, both useful to DJs and music producers. Mixed in Key and Mixed in Key Studio are both separate products which require their own individual licenses. Simply put, you have to buy each one individually unless you purchase the Mixed in Key Complete Collection or the DJ Collection. Mixed in Key goes for $58, and Mixed in Key Studio is also $58. For me personally, Mixed in Key has been an essential tool in my workflow for over 10 years now, and I definitely got my $58 worth. Make sure you head on over to the Mixed in Key site to get more information about Mixed in Key and Mixed in Key Studio, as well as their other software products such as Captain Chords. I'll be reviewing Captain Chords in our next software spotlight video, so make sure you subscribe below to the BPM Supreme YouTube channel so that you're constantly up to date with everything that is BPM Supreme. My name is Mike Acosta from BPM Supreme, and I'll see you in the next video.